explain what happened? Uh, the, uh, the matter was withdrawn and dismissed by the people today, so the case is sealed, uh, case is closed, the criminal case Catherine can now put behind her. I just want to say that I believe the decision was right, and I want to thank my attorney and the, my family and friends, and most of all my mother and all the prayers and the outreach and outpour of support that I got. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad I could be this part behind me. I've asked, uh, Catherine's not going to answer any questions, she just wanted to give a brief statement, but I'd be happy to if you have any questions for me. Thank you. Well, it had to be a Catherine, I mean, it was a scary situation for her, was it not? Oh, of course it was. I mean, you've seen at least parts of the body camera uh, footage. Um, it was a terrifying situation for her. Was the issue that they couldn't show they had an optical gun because they couldn't provide a firearm? The, uh, the district attorney didn't elaborate. Um, they indicated, I, I had filed a, a motion in limine essentially stating that because the indictment says deadly weapon, which is a term of art, so it has to be a, a loaded uh, weapon that's capable of discharging um, bullets. Uh, so in response, there was no formal response other than the district attorney's office in light of the judge's ruling is going to uh, withdraw and dismiss the charges. So that's what happened today. So they, practically your argument was that without the firearm, they couldn't make a case for menacing because they couldn't show they had a deadly weapon. Right. Under the, Under the misdemeanor menacing statute, um, an actual gun is not required. Uh, you could actually have what appears to be a pistol, revolver, a rifle, etc. Um, but the way that the indictment charged Ms. Bonner, it, it said a deadly whip weapon, which is a, uh, which is actually, and actually the felony uh, statute with regard to menacing a police officer, it has to be a gun also, although there it says it doesn't have to be operative. So, I, you know, I, I don't know if, if that's what prompted the district attorney to do what they did, um, but, you know, certainly we're extremely pleased that they did what they did. Do you expect this to turn out? Uh, I didn't expect it, um, you know, until I heard that, that it was going to happen. So until I saw that the DA uh, had this intent, uh, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was, I was preparing for trial. What um, is Miss Bonner considering a civil action against the city and the police? Uh, if, if necessary, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate right, it. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you.